Hey guys, Pokemon Master 556, and I'm getting back at it with more PSA graded cards up in here. So I think we got 63 or 64 over here right now, and uh, I already cut open the boxes, haven't taken a look inside, so I'll just be grabbing them at random. We got four boxes over here, so let's be surprised. I already shot my first PSA video, which that was actually my March send-off. I don't know how I'll be uploading them. Um, might be this video, might not be. Who knows what I will do. Anyways, we will be kicking things off with this Gyarados first edition base set card that scored a near mint to mint 8. These cards were the cards I sent off um, sometime uh, around, I think, December few months back and they all graded um, excellent to mint sixes because there was these lines Let's see if I could you could see the line right here coming through the card goes all the way through the hollow um, but yeah they graded sixes because of that and these cards were very very flawless looking very good um, and I just I had to send them off again because I thought it was complete BS that they didn't even tried to grade my cards that low of a grade for something so minuscule like that. We got a Mint 9 Lieutenant Surge's Magneton. Honestly thought this card was going to grade higher than it did. I mean, there's the most tiny nick on the bottom of it, and it doesn't even look like a nick. So, I don't know. So this would be our first 10 here. We got Koga's Ditto, Gem Mint 10, first edition, of course. Pretty sweet. And I was kind of sad about this card. It's got a smudge on it, and that's why I got a 9 right here. See that smudge mark right there next to my thumbnail? And there's a little smudge. This card looked perfect, um, putting aside that part right there. Um, I don't know what got on it, but it kind of sucked that it did. But anyways, we got a Gem Mint 10 Arcanine from Aquapolis. Now, I know this card is... Probably one of the more expensive cards out of the set. Um, very, very beautiful looking card. I like it a lot. We got the Muck from Aquapolis. Gem Mint 10. Pretty cool looking card. It's coming at you with his big old mucky hands. I was very sad to see this Alakazam card come back a 9. Yeah, somebody's flying around, around here. Um, I don't know exactly why it got a 9. Um, I thought the card looked perfect. I mean, it couldn't be from just this one little speck of white right there. and Here. I mean, I guess it could be, but... Huh. I don't know. This card is quite difficult to obtain in a 10, and I'm still going to be looking for it, of course. Anyways, we got the Crobat. Gem Mint 10, I'll focus again. Got Sky Ridge, Gem Mint 10, Crobat. Very awesome. We got a Mint 9 of the Jolteon. Sad day. Um, this card had ba baby, baby size Nicks. I'm surprised this card got a 9 as well, like the Alakazam did. They both look the exact same on the back, too. Politote, Gem Mint 10. Very pleased to see that card come back as a 10. There's a big boy. So, this is my uh, Umbreon Gold Star. Came back on near mint to mint 8, just as I had expected. I was really hoping it'd somehow come back pull a 9, but I pretty much knew that wasn't going to happen. <laughs> Here is the Flash Fire Charizard that I pulled out of my packs. I was very pleased to get this. Um, I was really, really pulling for the 10. I guess it, you know, didn't quite have it in it to do so. Very, very nice card, though. Nonetheless, such an epic-looking Charizard. Next up, now these cards were hit and miss, and that's why they got the grades they did. They had the crease uh, press marks on them from what they were sitting in when they were... Uh, Sent out in envelopes in Japan way back in 98. So um, these cards did not do good. So this one got a 7. 
I'm thinking I will probably take them out of their cases and just leave them as is. Oh boy, look at that. So this is a beat of the frontier and or pulse of the frontier, Rayquaza C level X, Gem Mint 10. Look at this beautiful card. Look at it sparkle and shine. It's just, I gotta put this in the background. It's just a beautiful, beautiful card. Next up, we got a Kyogre from Tidal Storm, Gem Mint 10. Very cool. There's quite a few full arts in here from this set, so you'll be seeing a lot. We got the Gem Mint 10 Mega Agron, very, very awesome card as well. Got a Gem 10 uh, Pokemon Center promo Gengar Shiny, Gem Mint 10s, There's actually two of them. Um, should be quite a few more of them in this box somewhere. So here we got our little poor alone Rayquaza C level X chilling in the background. So we got a smaller box here I can grab. Alright, looks like we got a first edition Ho Ho from Split Earth Crystal, of course. Very, very beautiful card. I was actually kind of surprised this card didn't come back a 7. It looked like uh, it had a little bit more edge wear than I thought it had on it. But that's good. I'm not complaining that it came back as an 8 for him. That's good. Got this really cool looking Moltres EX Players promo. Very cool looking card. Mint 9. Sharpedo EX Full Art Gem Mint 10. Pretty cool looking card, actually. Here we got a Gold Star Latios, Gem Mint 10. It's not the first edition one, sadly, but, I mean, if you could afford to find one of those in that condition, that's awesome. So we got this Galactic's Conquest, first edition, Hollow Giratina. This card is super ill looking. It's just boss as all can be. So we got the Gem 10 promo. Battle Festa Pikachu, and I've seen like a billion of these. People won't stop grading them. They are very cool looking cards, but good lord, people. So we got a Mint 9 Suicune from Aquapolis, and I can see there's like a scratch right there in it. Sad day for that card. I had a Gem Mint 10 of it myself at one point. And speaking of Gem Mint 10s, look at this beautiful play promo Lugia EX card. Now, I really, really want to get this card off of you, bro. Um, <laughs> I don't know what you're going to make me do, jump through hoops, break my arm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I really would like to have it in my collection. So we'll see what I can do. And we got a Latios EX from Dragon Frontier. It's got an, eight, an 8.5 near mint, mint plus, which is quite funny. Um, you know, pack pulled. It's got some pretty beefy looking nicks on the corners, sadly. We don't really see too many 8.5s come around too often. Come over here just throwing boxes on the floor. Nothing wrong with that. Oh boy. So this is a regrade card. And this card still looks mint as can be. But just look at this card. Near mint to mint. First edition base set Charizard, and as you can see there, this is my card that got a 6 previously to grading. Sorry about the glare, guys. I've just got to hold it at this angle. But yeah, you can see that line going through the card, and this is just like, it is an absolutely perfect card, all set aside from that. I mean, if you you, you just take a look at just how, how good the corners look. Very, very solid looking card. I think that was the only problem with it was that top right corner. Putting that aside, this card should have, if that did not have that stupid line going through this card, I would have gotten a Gem Mint 10, I think. In my in my book, this card was just flawless. It, it, it belongs back here in the background. <laughs> So we got a Mint 9 Dark Golbat from Rocket. I've been having really bad luck with the Rocket cards. I keep grading a couple every submission, and I just don't know. I just only get 9s. 
We got a Mint 9 Rockets Trap. I really don't know why this card graded a 9. Um, guy, that, guy that must have been grading it must have been on his man period because this card is flawless looking to me in my book. Probably was wrongfully graded. Um, we got Sabrina's Alakazam, Mint 9. This card, I uh, believe, actually, yeah, deserved the 9. We got a Polyrath from Neo Discovery, Gem Mint 10. Such a sick card. Um, I think I've had about 12 or 13 Gem 10s out of that set. Um, so it kind of sucks, you know, because I could have had a full set of that um, probably within the next few months if I wanted to. We got a Mint 9, a Zoomeril. I guess that's just how business goes, you know. Um, you buy a house and decide you got to pay off your car, and the next thing you know, you're selling off your card collection. Really sad to do it, but, you know, it's for a good cause. It's just another investment, buying a house. So we got a Gem Mint ten Tentacruel. And this card is already sold. Um, just for you, buddy. Um, and, you know, card's perfect. Just a beautiful card. Gem it ten ten cruel. Yeah, buddy. Next up, Gem Mint Ten Arcanine from Sky Ridge. I have two of these now. Very freaking crazy that I have two of some of these cards. Got a Gem Ten Dugong. So pleased to be scratching these all off my list. Got a Gem Mint Ten Macargo. Look at the sparkle on this dang card. Just this is a really cool looking Macargo card, by the way. Gem Mint 10, Sky Ridge, beautiful, beautiful. Polyrath, Gem 10, Gem Mint 10. We got an Espeon Gold Star, oh boy. Uh, it's got a Mint 9, and I know he was worried about it getting an 8. But I told him it would either pull, probably pull a 9. And uh, to my surprise and his, it got a 9 anyway. So this is a very, very sad day for this card. I guess that the press marks must have been really noticeable on this one to them. Um, I will be taking these out of the cases and just, like, keeping them as is. I might even keep them in the case. I don't know. Um, I mean, it just looks really cool to have these graded in a case. Um, I would like to buy another set of these eventually and, you know... Shoot for the Thor Gene status and try to get some Gem Mint 10s of these cards because I really, really love them a lot. We got a Near Mint to Mint 8 of the Machamp. So I'll definitely be keeping this one sealed in the in the case. Or I might just keep them all sealed. Who knows? I don't know yet, guys. I don't. And look at this. So we got a Gem Mint 10, B to the Frontier, Absol, Level X. Gem 10, beautiful, beautiful card. So that one's really cool. I don't, I'm don't. i actually not planning on keeping that one. That one will be up for grabs. So we got a Gem 10, Kai Ogre, full art. Such an awesome card. More Japanese goodness. So looks like we got two more of the uh, Shiny Gengar promos. Unfortunately, one of them did grade a 9. Sorry, guys. I know that sucks. I feel like I should have more boxes than this. I don't know. I guess I've really already torn through all of it. And I still don't have a good big background. <laughs> so, moving along, we got the Mewtwo. And this card graded it at 8 as well. So, all three of my regrades... Got an upgrade from um, excellent to mint six all the way up to a near mint to mint eight. And these cards, like I said, these cards were like absolutely perfect looking. There's no reason why they shouldn't have graded higher, even just with the eights, even with those marks on them. So we got a dark slow bro, mint nine, really cool looking card. We got a misty gem mint ten. Pleased to have you on board, Misty. Put you in the background since I'm missing background cards. We got a Magnemite, Mint 9. I was really hoping to get a 10 on this one. This is a super sick looking Magnemite. Not very many Magnemite hollows either. Just since it's an evolved form. Very pleased with this one. So we got a Scizor, Gem Mint 10. 
I sold this card at one point, and, uh, well, I've got it back in my possession, and I'm kind of thinking I might keep it. It's a really, really sick card. Got an Espeon Mitten 9 from Aquapolis. Really hope to get that card in a 10 sometime. Got the Zapdos Mint 9 as well. And now, guys, a lot of these cards are graded 9s I was expecting, but not all of them. And I got my roommate walking through the door here. Got a Gem 10 Articuno. What's going on, home skillets? Got a Mint 9 Houndoom. Still need this in a 10, sadly. Third time's a charm on this Moltres. Finally got a 10 of this card. Knock that out the way. Vaporeon has got a gem at 10. Very pleased with this card. It's a beautiful, beautiful card. I'm calling BS on this card right here. It's my mid-9 Genesect Full Art, the only card I've ever even graded in English <laughs> as a full art card. And it doesn't come back at 10. Very much so deserving of the grade, 10, but nope. It's got the um, more Masaki cards here. Got a near mint 7. Obviously, um, just because you got a crease in your card doesn't mean that it's going to bump the card grade down to a 6 or a 5. Most unfortunate here. Um, Masaki Gang Guard, near mint 7 as well. And there goes the phone once again. <laughs> At least once a video. We got the Kyogre, a third of Kyogre. Got a whole bunch of those bad boys. Got a Gem 10 Agron, Japanese, of course. Got two more cards left over here. And they are both. Well, they put two of these, two of each of these in uh, the ending of like three different boxes. It's kind of weird. They'll just like stash them together. So. That is actually it for this submission as well, and I think that was actually 124 cards if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and um, any word on what I should do with these uh, Masaki cards? Should I keep them in the cases? Should I take them out? You know, just keep them in the cases for my collection until I can upgrade to better ones? What? Just put your comments below. Anyways, peace, guys.